Hey guys, uh, here's the latest update for this uh, crazy project. Um, I updated some components, well, all the components. <laughs> I'm using an Arduino Mega now, um, just because of the additional ports to be able to communicate. Uh, I have this new screen, which is um, an XDN screen, and uh, it's basically a, a touch screen with its own processor. Uh, and software application that allows you to design user interfaces uh, with greater ease than um, directly coding uh, them into the screen like I was doing with the others. So you'll notice once I go through all this uh, that the screens are much more designed and look nicer. Um, I switched from the Adafruit board to the DF player. The Adafruit board just wasn't doing what I needed it to, the DF player does. Um, so given that, I have more uh, storage capacity for sounds. So each phrase or each screen now has three uh, phrases. Um, so a little bit more randomness. And I'll probably end up adding more uh, as time goes by. It just takes time to kind of think up what you wanted to say and then um, get all that done. Uh, so anyway, uh, let's go through it, and uh, it works beautifully. Um, huge shout out to JB Kuma uh, for helping out quite a bit with uh, my understanding, recommending the DF player, um, helping with the timing of the code and stuff like that. So huge thanks to him. Anyway, let's. Uh, I'm going to restart this so you can see it from the beginning. There's a little initializ initialization screen uh, that doesn't do anything. That just gives time to all the components to kind of catch up with each other. Welcome back, Master Jedi. Your lightsaber is paired, and the system is ready to run diagnostics. So this is our little welcome screen. Uh, and then we go into the diagnostics. Sir, your diadium power cell is very low. Might I suggest a charge as soon as possible? So you can see, um, well, <laughs> I would hope you agree that it looks a lot better. Um, it's much more put together visually. Uh, and we got some animations in there. Uh, nice high quality images. That's actually uh, an image of a core that I designed in Fusion 360. And that's uh, the mechanical drawing of it that I was able to um, convert and bring over into this uh, display. And then we have the animated crystal, which is, uh, I like, a nice little touch there. Um, so let's go through. I looked into the flux levels of your crystal and, well, Master Jedi, there are some concerning variances of which I am unable to determine the source. Perhaps I need a diagnostics check myself. Uh, so we have uh, forward and back buttons on the middle screens. Obviously on the first screen it's just a forward and on the last screen it's just backward. And then two of the screens have a pause play for the animation. Um, you can hit that while audio, while the voice track is running. However, it will cancel out the voice track. It doesn't pause it. Uh, and that was intended. I could make it pause, but I just didn't think um, uh, that was the way I wanted it to go. I just wanted it to cancel it totally. Uh, you can rapid fire through these menus. Um, you don't have to wait for the audio to finish. So. I looked into the flux. I've identified your Kyber crystal as type Koreska of Yavin Prime Origin. Very rare indeed. The crystalline structure is fascinating. And uh, this animation you can interact with with the little slider here, which I thought was cool. It serves no purpose, um, but you know, it's just an interactive element that I thought was fun. And then this next screen, I got a, a funny phrase on this next screen. Well, actually two, but one I really like. Um, so hopefully that'll pull up. If not, I'm just gonna go back and forth until it uh, randomly selects it. This resonant frequency analysis is extremely abnormal. I'm embarrassed to say, but I am unable to provide additional information. I'm sorry, Master Jedi. I failed you. Perhaps I should be reassigned to binary load lifter communications. 
curse my rusty innards. <laughs> so that, luckily, the the one that I wanted came up. Um, but yeah, uh, so that's that's pretty much it um, as far as the functionality and uh, the screens and graphics and everything. Really, really um, fun project, and uh, you know, I'm I'm going to update the um, the enclosure to a, a very different new design, um, which I'll update uh, with. Uh, down the road maybe next week or so um, but yeah I hope you guys are enjoying this if you are following and uh, I'll talk to you soon